Hold on, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Setting the record straight about big tech censorship. YouTube has shut me down for questioning authority. George Orwell said, if liberty means anything at all, it means the right to tell people what they do not want to hear. The number of views on my YouTube channel was skyrocketing. My YouTube channel has seen a huge increase in the number of views over the past six weeks. That's a hockey stick which climate alarmists don't want to see. My channel has had nearly 6 million views in just the past four weeks. Also note that I earn about $1 for every 10,000 views. Obviously, I'm not in this for the money. I'm doing it to educate the public about propaganda and fraud. The YouTube bots have this nice message on my channel. Keep it up. Your channel got 480% more views than usual in the last 28 days. My videos average about 99% likes and 1% dislikes. The YouTube bots like me because I make money for them, but unfortunately some of the people working at YouTube don't like me so much. I've been getting lots of messages from YouTube recently about their staff manually scanning my videos. YouTube is obviously spending a lot of time and money looking for excuses to shut me down. And now they have shut me down for posting a video of a German doctor being arrested at a Trafalgar Square protest in London. I did not add any of my own content to the video. I simply posted video which Anna Brees had taken as the doctor was arrested. And reporting the news got me banned. How this affects your channel. Your channel now has one strike. You won't be able to do things like upload, post, or live stream for one week. A second strike will prevent you from publishing content for two weeks. Three strikes in the same 90-day period will result in your channel being permanently removed from YouTube. How your content violated the policy. YouTube doesn't allow content that explicitly disputes the efficacy of the World Health Organization. But I didn't dispute anything. All that I did was post video of a doctor being arrested. In January, the World Health Organization tweeted, Preliminary investigations conducted by the Chinese authorities have found no clear evidence of human-to-human -human transmission of the novel coronavirus. This was at the same time when the Chinese government was posting videos of them welding people into their homes to keep them from spreading coronavirus. But YouTube won't allow people to dispute the World Health Organization. At the end of March, the World Health Organization said, if you do not have any respiratory symptoms such as fever, cough, or runny nose, you do not need to wear a medical mask. When used alone, masks can give you a false feeling of protection and can even be a source of infection when not used correctly. And in June, the World Health Organization said that asymptomatic spread of coronavirus is very rare. The World Health Organization has made many contradictory statements, but YouTube has banned me for posting a video of a doctor who disputed their judgment. It won't be long before YouTube makes it against their policy to dispute the statements of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change either. Science and civilization has returned to the 16th century when it was against the rules to question authority. George Washington said, if the freedom of speech is taken away, then dumb and silent we may be led to slaughter. Globalists want to massively reduce the world's population, so it seems consistent with what George Washington said. Freedom of speech is simply not acceptable to the globalists who control social media. Toto has always understood that it was just a matter of time until YouTube banned him, so that's why he posts on BitChute and is also looking into posting on NewTube. You can visit Toto and Kyrie on the web at realclimatescience.com. Yeah, the same thing happened to me. I posted a video of David Ike speaking at Trafalgar Thank Square. You, Moving forward now. Thanks we for watching here. Of... That was uh, Tony Heller on YouTube. Tony Heller, realclimatescience.com. Thank you.